Hey guys, how's it going? So, if you've been watching much of my channel at all, you know for the past six to eight months, I've been really getting into some of the newer Taurus pistols, like the G2C and the G3. And I think it's become quite obvious that I'm really liking both of these guns. In fact, I'm kind of really loving them, to be honest with you. And love the G2C, and I love the G3. Now, before we get going too far, I'm going to put a link down in the description of my Taurus playlist because I'm going to be referencing some things in other videos and to keep this video from going two hours or more, I'm just going to kind of reference that playlist. So if you've watched all my videos, you'll know exactly what I'm talking about. If you're new to the channel or skipped a few videos previously, the playlist with all of the different Taurus videos I'm going to be referencing is down in the description just below this video here. So. I get tons of questions from you guys and they're great questions and like I've said in other videos you guys are pretty cool like I never knew that me getting on here and just basically doing videos about my hobby my passion my love for guns and the Second Amendment how many really nice people that I would meet and that some of the things I know about these guns would actually help people and that's awesome so whenever I get questions especially if it's a repeated question I like to do a video in response to just help clear things up for you guys or maybe just give you guys some food for thought. You know, whatever. So people keep asking me, G2C versus G3, which one's better and why would I want to buy one over the other, assuming you don't own either, or if they already have a G2C, people want to know, why would I buy a G3? Is it the same thing? Are the couple differences going to make it worth buying? Now, these pistols are a slightly different price. People say, <clears throat> is it worth paying a little bit more money for the G3? Well, ultimately, it's going to be up for you guys to decide what's best for you. Because all I really do on this channel is try to give you guys some info. Hopefully, it helps. I'll definitely give you my opinions and my honest feedback and reviews of things. But I'm never going to tell you what to do. You guys are grown people. You're adults. You guys should make your own choices because you know much more about your life and what your needs are than I do. So first and foremost, the choice is going to be yours. But I'm going to kind of compare and contrast these guns today in this video just to give you guys some food for thought and it might help you make your decision. But keep in mind guys, I've done a lot of Taurus videos and some of them, thanks to you guys, have gotten a lot of views. And people often assume that Taurus is sending me guns. Well, they're not. And I've even had people say, hey, they should be sending you guns. You've, quote, helped them sell a couple hundred guns probably. That's what people have said in the comments. No, guys, I buy all this stuff with my own money. Now, I do have some Patreon supporters, and you guys are completely awesome. And trust me, you guys are definitely helping. Some of the stuff on this channel has been paid for from my Patreon supporters. But I'm going to need you guys' help. So if a few more of you guys can come on in and just help me out. If you've got a dollar a month, two bucks, five bucks, whatever, my link for my Patreon account's down in the description. I'm really enjoying giving you guys videos on a regular basis. I love hanging out with you guys. And I would totally do it for free. I'm never trying to make money doing this. But I'm spending quite a bit of money out of my pocket when people ask me, what about this accessory? What about that gun? And I literally am buying stuff for the channel to share with you guys. So if you can help me out down there, I appreciate it. And that will ensure I'm able to keep the regular content up and have new and cool things to show you guys and for us all to talk about. Okay, so G2C versus G3. Well, let's just compare and contrast. I don't want these guns to be versus each other because in their own right, they're awesome guns, and they both stand on their own two feet. So, the Taurus G2C. This gun obviously came out before the G3. Probably more of you have these than the G3. So, I'm going to kind of use this as the baseline. The G2C is basically what Taurus considers a compact. Now, I've said this before. I truly believe it's a subcompact. It's very similar in dimensions as like a Glock 26, let's just say and other companies that sell subcompacts. So this gun is actually very small with having a rather high 12 round mag capacity for what it is, right? 
I've done a complete review on this gun, tons of follow-ups. Those are in the Taurus playlist. But this gun is very ergonomic, very, very comfortable, and it's budget. It's really, really cheap. These guns have hovered around the $200 price range for a while. And here's a little info for you guys. As of right now, me filming this, this is the 17th of November, 2019. Taurus just put a rebate back on the G2Cs. I've seen them right now on sale at Palmetto, for example. Buy them where you want. I would actually suggest, you know, supporting your local gun shop, to be honest. But these guns are coming in as cheap as $180 with now a $25 rebate. So they can be purchased, as we speak, for $155 after rebate. Of course, there's sales tax and shipping and FFL and all the BS that, unfortunately, we have to be used to buying guns, right? So... The price on these is definitely, definitely right. The G3, being a little newer, these are coming in at around 225, maybe up to 250, maybe a touch cheaper, but around the 220, 30 dollar ish price range right now. I have not seen any rebates yet on these. Being a newer gun, Taurus isn't really providing incentives to, you know move these along because it's so new it's probably selling plenty well enough on its own that's usually how any new gun goes you don't get the rebate on it till it's been out a little while right so we're already talking about 50 to 70 dollar difference between the two and i say 50 to 70 because there is a 25 dollar rebate as of right now if you're watching this later and there's no rebate the price is going to be closer and i'm also going to bet as time goes on the price of these g3s will probably come down so there you go so price, if you just want the cheapest of the two guns, it's going to be the G2C. That's just looking at numbers. That's going to be the winner. Well, what makes the G3 better or different than the G2C? Well, one thing I could say that, in my opinion, no doubt makes the G3 better is the trigger. With the newer style design safety blade, the trigger blade safety, this is a much improved design, gets rid of any hitch that we've all felt in our G2Cs before. Totally gone, the trigger's excellent. So right off the bat, plus one on the trigger. In my opinion, no questions asked over the G2C. And trust me, I've been reading the comments, guys. You're gonna come in right now and say, but the G2C trigger's good, and it is. I have no problem with the G2C trigger. For how cheap this gun is, the trigger's plenty acceptable. When I'm shooting it, the reset, everything, really good trigger. Great trigger for the price of the gun. But the G3 trigger is better. Now, the next thing about these guns is the size. Which one's better? Well, that's going to depend. If your main concern is concealed carry, you want the gun to be concealable as small as possible, right? To carry however you're going to. Or if you're just going to carry this in a small compartment of a vehicle, etc., the G2C wins, no questions asked. 3.2 inch barrel, 12 round magazine, compared to the 4 inch barrel, which is obviously going to give it a longer slide and a longer grip frame, this gun's definitely bigger. With its 15 round flush fit magazine, the grip frame is going to be noticeably taller, you know, longer than the G2C. So. It's going to be bigger. It's not going to conceal as well. We also have the 17 round mag, which is going to make the gun yet even a little bit bigger. Now, <clears throat> is the G3 a beast and hard to carry? No. Do I think this could be concealed by many or most people? Yes. But the small size of a gun definitely gives the advantage for concealed carrying to the G2C. Now, with this gun being bigger, the detriment is it's harder to carry, but here's the positives. So, to state the obvious, 15 round capacity when it's in its flush fit configuration or 17 rounds with the slightly extended mag, we have quite a few more rounds. So, more rounds on tap, that's a good thing. If you're either practicing at the range, you don't have to reload as much. If you are in a self-defense situation, in my opinion, the more rounds the better. Look, we should all practice at the range. We should all go to training or have someone we know and trust train us if we're new or both and go out and practice. So, But no matter how good and proficient you are 
In a gunfight, things like nerves and loss of fine motor movement kicks in, tunnel vision, all these things people talk about. People miss a lot of rounds in gunfights. So the round advantage is here, and the having more rounds, in my opinion, is always a good thing. Nobody ever complained in a gunfight if they had extra ammo when the threat was stopped. But there's been people who have lost their lives and, and or really wish they had another couple rounds if they run out. So round capacity, definitely the advantage goes to the G3. Now, with the gun being a little bigger, this isn't for no good reason. We do get a four inch barrel instead of a 3.2. And you guys can look up all kinds of ballistics charts and etc. But there's well published data from manufacturers and from many other third party sources, including many excellent channels on YouTube, that show you that a four inch barrel shooting the nine millimeter will result in a higher velocity, more foot pounds of torque. So if you're shooting the same exact round through both of these guns, it's going to be getting out of there generally faster. And since a rough equation for stopping power, if you want to call it that, or how many foot-pounds of impact the round makes, you're going to kind of take your grain weight of your bullet and multiply it times your velocity and plug in some other numbers. I'm not a mathematician, but the two main factors are velocity and grain weight. So this gun is definitely going to have better terminal ballistics, as we call it. And in the real world, all that means is the bullet's going to be hitting the target with a higher degree of force. Now, many hollow points also rely on the bullet to be moving at a certain velocity before they can expand properly and do the complete effect that they were designed to do. So, on terminal performance, speed of the bullet, etc., the G3 is definitely going to win. As far as how the guns feel in my hand, they're very similar. With the pinky extension on the Taurus G2C, my pinky gets right in there. Very, very comfortable gun to shoot. Now, of course, with the longer grip frame, that doesn't make it any less comfortable. Plenty of room on the grip to grab onto it with either the 17 round mag or the 15 round mag. So ergonomics, I'm gonna say are similar. Now, this is gonna weigh a little bit more, which is a detriment to carrying it in addition to its bigger size, but it actually makes the gun a little bit more pleasurable to shoot at the range with this having more mass you know weighs a little more the recoil is going to be mitigated or absorbed more by not only the extra length of barrel because as the round goes out of the barrel the pressure can decrease a little bit as it goes out slows down the burn rate a little bit more powders burned etc okay I'm no scientist, but that's kind of sort of how it works for regular people like you and me, right? So with the longer barrel and the little bit of extra weight for the slide, this is going to be a little softer shooting. So the slight advantage for shootability and control of the recoil impulse and getting the gun, keeping it on target or getting it back on plane again goes to the G3. Now look. This gun is also very, very manageable. It is only nine millimeter for gosh sake, so it doesn't kick very hard, but I did notice it's just a little bit snappier, the G2C is than the G3. One more thing, when it comes to aiming the gun, we have what's called our sight radius. So that's generally just the distance from the rear sight to the front sight. Now, the longer these are apart, let's go to a rifle for example it's much easier to aim accurately because you have a greater distance to look between the two keep in mind if you have a short little pendulum and you move it just a little bit it's exaggerated more on the other end so when you have a longer sight radius it's not as affected as much by just slight movements so longer slide longer fr frame longer you know gun in general longer barrel we do get a longer sight radius by, I'm looking at it right here close to an inch three quarters of an inch okay look at that right there the distance between the sights so increased sight radius is always a good thing for accuracy at the range or in a defensive situation so which one would I get well it comes down to two things really and I'm gonna kind of summarize everything I can that I just said earlier the best I can as quickly as I can because I could talk about these guns for hours I truly love them both guys it's so hard for me to say this gun versus this but I think it's good to compare the differences right 
this is mainly a range gun mainly you know a home defense gun vehicle defense gun or if you don't mind carrying a bigger gun I'm gonna give the slight edge to the G3 even though it does lack the physical loaded chamber indicator which I love on the G2C but some of you guys like the fact it doesn't have that I have a whole video on this too in the Taurus playlist but I'm gonna kind of go in those scenarios I just said with the G3 if my main focus is concealability lightweight smaller package to be able to conceal in whatever your type of holster is you like to use it's gonna go to the G2C now price both of these guns are a steal in my opinion it's amazing how good these newer Tauruses are Now, Taurus has had problems in the past guys but most of the time what I've been reading reports and my experience with these Taurus has finally gotten it right lately so they're both an excellent price they really really are but the G2C is substantially cheaper especially right this minute with the rebate so cost goes to the G2C concealability goes to the G2C all the other things like I said earlier goes to the G3 so you guys can decide I'm just giving you the pros and cons to both not really a lot of cons to be honest it kind of sucks but there's never a such thing as a free lunch with guns you always have to sacrifice one thing you have to sacrifice concealability to get that longer sight radius to get that longer barrel with better terminal velocities right now the only thing that's just a straight up upgrade is the triggers just straight up better no matter how you look at it in my opinion on the g3 while the trigger on the g2c is definitely good enough and it's like way better than most guns at the sub $200 price range right so here's what happens guys it's such a debate between these two I probably just suggest if or when you get the money just to buy both because they both have their own separate purposes they're not the exact same gun and I've just highlighted a bunch of reasons why they're not and here's the kicker if you own both you've got this really cool magazine compatibility thing going on where you can actually take this 15 round magazine from the G3 and you can put it right in your G2C and these are like OEM the mag notch is cut in the exact right spot these are like completely and utterly reliable mags that I would actually carry for self-defense in my G2C I'm gonna do a whole nother video in the future comparing and contrasting these to the sig mags I know these take sig mags I know a lot of you guys love them but I'll show you a video later as to why these G3 mags are like probably better as far as for self-defense or when you really need to rely on your gun than the sig mags but look it fits perfectly now see that little gap well that's what we have my bloody buddy bloody wheels for if you want to know about bloody wheels go back into my Taurus playlist that same one I keep referencing I did a nice long video talking about his grip spacers so this 15 round mag with the bloody wheels grip spacer look at that right in the G2C it looks perfect now these are available in black right now he's selling them on his eBay store I have the special blue one that's not for sale but he's just that cool of a guy that I got hooked up with a couple of these pre-production blue ones but you get the point same thing with the 17 round mag fits right into your G2C great very reliable flawless function okay and same thing my bloody buddy wheels he hooked me up guys so with a 17 round spacer there you go flush fit ergonomics perfect so that's actually a reason why it is indeed nice to own both they just go together same caliber don't have to keep buying a bunch of different types of ammo but and don't forget guys whether you want to use it or not that's up to you but I did show down on my playlist a video of me shooting the Taurus G2C with this G3 4 inch barrel in it so the barrels will even interchange all right guys this video wasn't about trying to tell you guys which one's better than the other because they're both great and I love them both but hopefully this gave you some food for thought and showed you where they're definitely their own guns and for some of you the one gun's going to be better than the other for the other person you're going to pick the other one or for a lot of you you might just want to get both because they're both really really cool great guns at a very budget and affordable price all right, guys, thanks for watching, and have a good one.